Ti is at a higher level than this. That is the globe position is lower. Is the enophthalmosis following out of the right globe. And we have done reconstruction at the equator and at that means uh, the patient has completed three days after surgery. So what is the case? That is normal. Today is day seven. Either they go? Open. So his extraocular movements are all perfect. So we have this young boy with us all the way. He's come from Maharashtra and uh, you see the problems for him are very obvious. One is what is called hypoglobus. Now if you can up see that again. See that dekhtero, huh? This eye is at a higher level than this. That is the globe position is lower than the left. This is because he sustained a road traffic accident uh, several years ago. And you see all these scars from the previous surgery which has been done. He has three implants, uh, one here, one air plate here in the zygoma region and two plates at the mandible. So what we are going to do today is correct the uh, position of the eye. Also, he has mild hypo, uh, enophthalmus, enophthalmus along with hypoglobus and I would say telecanthus too because the distance between the two um, eyes is a little more than normal. So, these are the concerns with the orbit. Now, moving on to the mandible, you see a very obvious asymmetry here. The chin, the cornu is just sliding down towards one side and he has a very defined face but at the same time it is very asymmetric so we're going to do all this facial asymmetric correction over the bone knee regions over the cheek the mandible uh, the other concern he had was his uh, dentoalveolar segment on one side is forward it's placed like this so can you see this tooth right here it's placed forward ahead of the other tooth it is not in one single arch so he wants that to be corrected so these are his major concerns and uh, this is what we call a post-traumatic deformity correction we are going to be removing the previous implants going to do osteotomy here going to raise the uh, this eye using an orbital mesh so the position will be the same, the enophthalmus will be corrected, the hypoglobus will be corrected. Um, well and then we are going to correct all this facial asymmetry along with the teeth correction. Thank you. Oh. We correct the enophthalmosis the following out of the right globe. Uh, here we have a 26 year old male patient it's his first post-operative day uh, this was a case of post-traumatic facial deformity that means after the trauma he was operated elsewhere but he, he had a hypo as well as enophthalmus on his right eye so uh, that's why you see a lot of edema around his eyes so what we have done is uh, we have gone we have uh, gone through a transconjunctival approach to the floor of the orbit and we have done reconstruction at the equator and at, at, uh, as well as behind the equator to give him uh, proper positioning of the globe and uh, uh, these are the uh, sutures uh, 
uh, because of he had uh, a previous surgery so he had some implants which were placed there which have been removed now and this pressure pack which is there also because of the previous implant which is removed uh, yesterday so he has a quite a bit of swelling which will uh, eventually settle down in few days dard kaisa hai aapko theek hai utna to dard nahi hai okay so he also has a periorbital swelling as well as subconjunctival hemorrhage uh, so it, it will settle down in a week or so and uh, kya kar rahe ho khane ke liye abhi easy diet idli okay take soft diet soft diet aur acha se ha saaf karna hai theek hai so this is his third post operative day uh, that means uh, the patient has completed 3 days after surgery so as you as you can see here uh, the swelling around the eyes the periorbital swelling that we say that has reduced and it's resolving uh, from yesterday and uh, this is little bit of uh, subconjunctival hemorrhage even that is resolving so uh, you able to uh, you know see and there's no problem with the vision no okay look here okay so his ocular movements are also normal uh, then how is the pain here kuch nahi hai dard nahi hai so he had an implant which was placed uh, elsewhere uh, following a trauma few years ago so even that was removed from here and uh, these are the sutures again from the implant removal frame uh, Uh, place uh, where uh, the there was a two hole with gap implant which was placed in the fz region so even that was removed in the surgery so khane ke liye kya kar rahe idli sa sab kuch kar rahe hai theek hai theek hai so you have to keep the area clean okay rinse karna theek hai okay so today is the fourth post operative day of this patient we have done orbital floor reconstruction using uh, german titanium plates so uh, he has now got his anophthalmos and as well as hypophthalmos correction so as you can see now uh, there is just mild swelling so the hypophthalmos has been corrected and look up anophthalmos also has been corrected for this patient so dard kaisa hai aur aapka experience kaisa tha idhar experience idhar theek hai which is in hospital हाँ हाँ दर्द अभी नॉर्मल है ठीक है इतना नहीं हो रहा हम्म बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं है हाँ हाँ ठीक है खाने के लिए किधर से ऑर्डर कर रहे थे खाने के लिए हॉस्पिटल में से ऑर्डर लिए थे हॉस्पिटल में ही सब मिला था हाँ हाँ आपके साथ कौन कौन आया है कितने लोग हैं ब्रदर है हाँ हाँ वो किधर स्टे कर रहा था हॉस्पिटल में हॉस्पिटल में ही उनके और मेडिसिन और नर्सिंग हाँ नर्सिंग सर्विसेस डॉक्टर सब लोग कैसा है इधर हाँ ठीक है सब कुछ ठीक है ओके सो so, आपको दर्द कैसा है दर्द नॉर्मल है ज़्यादा ज़्यादा तो नहीं है हाँ ओके टू डेज हो गया हाँ पहले दिन कैसा था आपका एक्सपीरियंस अभी अभी कैसा है पहले दिन थोड़ा वीकली गया ठीक है हाँ 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 परफेक्ट ओके आपको बाल आया है यहाँ पे धीरे करो धीरे से करो ठीक है आपको और दर्द वैसे भी होने वाला है आप करोगे नहीं तो बस हो गया हो गया हो गया हो गया ठीक हो अरे सो टुडे इज डे सेवन पकड़ो फॉलोइंग अ पोस्ट ट्रोमैटिक फेशियल डिफॉर्मिटी करेक्शन एंड लेट मी टेल यू द प्रॉब्लम लिस्ट विद द पेशेंट बाय लुकिंग एट हिज प्री ऑप सो ही हैज बोथ हाइपोग्लोबिस एंड इनोथेलमिस बाय हाइपोग्लोबिस आई मीन दैट his right globe or right eye is at a lower level than the left eye and this happened following a road traffic accident also he has uh, some amount of telecanthus that is increased distance between both the uh, pupils so if you see now 
So during the surgery, what we've done is we've placed uh, an orbital mesh in the right orbit and itna see that dekho yeah so let me show you either dekho ha upar so his extraocular movements are all perfect uh, there is no entrapment in the ct also um also you can see that when he looks at the side you see that enophthalmic correction has also been done hypoglobus is correct uh, correction is done he did not have diplopia before or after surgery so we have to uh, take care of so many things when we do a orbital surgery uh, in ophthalmic hypoglobus diplopia and extraocular movements we have kept that in check both intraoperatively and postoperatively along with that he had implants in the fz region the frontozygomatic region the zygoma as well as the uh mandibular symphysis region we've removed all those implants from the previous surgery which was done immediately following the rta along with that something very prominent on his face is the lower jaw asymmetry can you see how his mandible is sliding down so we've corrected that and made it much more symmetric yeah so you can see in this we thoda side mein dekho this this was sliding down but now you can see the chin is straight we've contoured the chin the cornu on both sides all right so in short uh he does have aankhe kholo yeah us taraf dekho so this is what is called a subconjunctival hemorrhage he does have some amount of sch which is common uh following any orbital surgery um all these sutures have been removed we are going to put him on some ointments some scar creams so that these scars get better with time and uh, the remaining surgery for the lower jaw the stitches are put intraorally does not need to be removed it will go on its own ye 30 andar ke jo stitch hai na wo 30 se 40 din mein khud hi chale jayenge aur ye jo aankh lal hua hai na uske liye kuch karne ki zarurat nahi hai jo eye drops aap dal rahe ho wo continue karo और सात दिन तक उसके बाद वो भी बंद कर लो अपने आप ये लाल वाला चीज अपने आप दस दिन में चला जाएगा ठीक है आपका अभी आंख देखोगे ना अभी दोनों एक ही पोजीशन पे यहाँ पे थोड़ा सूजन है हाँ आंख का लेवल देखो लेवल, बस लेवल बराबर है पर ये जो ऊपर का सूजन है उसकी वजह से आपको ये आँख और ये आँख में डिफरेंस लगेगा पर वो धीरे धीरे स्वेलिंग जैसे ही कम होगा ना क्योंकि खून अभी भी जमा हुआ है यहाँ पे सो so, वो जाने के बाद ही वो एक लेवल मतलब एक एक जैसा दिखेगा उसके लिए टाइम लगेगा एक आध महीना लगेगा ठीक है पर कोई ऐसे टेंशन लेने की जरूरत नहीं है